Guys, it's Body Moon, but like and subscribe to Janice on Tour. Like and subscribe to Janice on Tour. Subscribe to Janice on Tour. Hi there, Janners, and welcome back to another episode of Janners on Tour. It is the 14th of February, 2024, and it is a Valentine's Day special, Plymouth Argyle versus Coventry City in the EFL Championship. Really good to see you guys. It's another uh, midweek uh, vlog. Again, it's a very, very uh, drizzly, uh, rainy night, so it's going to be pretty tough conditions. But we're not going to let that spoil the love tonight, it being Valentine's night and all. So Coventry City, very big game going into this. Um, obviously, a massive trip that we had to Sunderland the other day and in a 3-1 defeat, which wasn't ideal, but was obviously very tough. And you could see that a lot of games, um, you know, were sort of taking their toll on the greens a little bit. We've played a lot of games recently with the Leeds game and etc. So tonight will be tough. Coventry City on a very good run themselves. Um, they had a win at uh, home to Millwall uh, just a couple of days ago. So they are doing really well. They're sort of at that top end of the table looking to finish in the playoffs. Obviously made the playoff final last season. Um, and obviously losing out to Luton. So, you know, good, capable side that are going to want to uh, get a result done here. Bringing 1,700 fans as well on a Tuesday night, Wednesday night, sorry. Um, so that's really good effort from them. So it's going to be a big game. As I say, conditions aren't great. Lots of our uh, key players will be back. Obviously couldn't play in the Leeds game and the FA Cup. So hopefully all to play for tonight. Results did go our way a little bit last night. So even if we do lose tonight, then... You know, it's still not the end of the world. But with Leeds coming up on Saturday morning and then West Brom next Tuesday, we're in for quite a few tough fixtures. So in my eyes, it will be tough. If I'm being honest tonight, I would take a draw. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw and we'll see what happens. Thank you for your comments on um, Argyle Free Chat. We have a couple of other score predictions, which I'll read out now. So we've got um, from Beth Rayson, a 1-1 draw, like me. We've got Liam Martin. Hi, Liam. Fan of the channel. We've got 2-1 Argyle win. I don't know if I'm saying this name right, but Uret Simon, he reckons 2-0 Argyle. We've got Cam of Cam Vlogs, 2-1 Argyle. And we've got Tony Phil Philpotts, who reckons 3-2 Argyle as well. So lots of confident people out there today um, thinking that we, we could get the win. You know, I don't disagree. I think we could definitely, um, you know, hopefully win it if we play well. Always, always need to back us at home. We are a good side at home, but it will be a tough game. So I'm going to drive up now. Um, just meet Rich and Sean. Going to be sat with Sean today in Block 9, so the usual seat. And uh, hopefully we'll get lots of match action. We'll see uh, Rich and Sean, have a little chat to them. And hopefully we can end the night a uh, little bit uh, less wet than last week and with three points. Thanks for tuning in, guys, on this Valentine's night. Come on the greens. Right then, we're back down on Valentine's night with Rich. How are you feeling, Rich? Not um, feeling the weather at the moment, no, then? No, not feeling the weather, no. Very murky night. Right then, Rich, big game, Coventry tonight. Obviously got a couple of tough games coming up with Leeds on Saturday. Yeah. Think we need to sort of get the win today, Rich? Three points at a muck tonight in my eye. Yeah, that's it. So what are you sort of going for your score prediction? 2-1. Uh, 2-1. One. Two, one. Obviously you're good with all the away team's knowledge. Rich, who's the danger man for Coventry? Uh, I, I team White. Yeah? I team White. And apparently O'Hare may well be out tonight as well, which is uh, lost for them. A massive rumour about him being yeah. out, yeah. Obviously, recent forms, not, you know, we've obviously had a quite a few tough games. Sunderland was tough, but bounce back tonight would be the perfect ointment, really. Yeah, massive ointment for all of We needed that nap pump back after losing two and the Ian Fox. And like I say, we're always confident at home, aren't we, whoever we play against? Yeah, Matt, what I find, I'll fall to our solid to being at home. That's it. And with it being Valentine's Day night, Rich, we always are going to ask a few people this tonight. Yeah. What was the thing that made you fall in love with Argyle? Maybe that game or that player? Uh, my first ever tip to when I'm, my first ever match is at Wembley in 96. Wembley 96. What? I know you did like football when I was younger. No. So when Ronnie Moore say to, yeah. I've been fit taking on football. Got I you hooked ever since, tip. yeah? Well, Wembley, you know, is enough to get anyone hooked, isn't it? <laughs> Massively, so, yeah. Rich, we'll see you inside at half time. Hopefully by then we'll have something to cheer about. Definitely. Come to the greens. Gene Army!
Hey, so just looking at the uh, the stats, we're going to do this every game now for the uh, for head to head. Yeah. So it says here that Argyle we've won 28 games against Coventry, drawn 11, and lost 24. So we sort of edge it at the moment, don't we, Rich? We edge it. Yeah, yeah that's but, it. Yeah. Also, just looking at the lineup as well. There's no foreshore in today, so maybe resting or maybe injured. Uh, I think the Dawson. Yeah. Uh, we did not, yeah. New player from Villa starts as well, so probably giving Edwards a rest as well. Oh, Ever Oli be famous. Randall's back in, and obviously all the regulars, obviously Divine and. Um, Sort of Whitaker and Hardy, etc. So, a couple changes tonight, but nothing too spectacular. No, yeah, no not spectacular. No. I mean, I do, I do like Forshaw. Sure. Hopefully, we don't miss sort of that experience in the middle. But I don't want Joe drop that feeling. But Randall's there, yeah. too tiny. He is a little bit, but hopefully, we, you know, we've got enough in midfield, and with Whitaker and Hardy, you know, hopefully. Yeah. Back up form. I know Morgan didn't have the best game on Sunderland, did he? But nah. let's hope that we can produce the goods tonight. But we need you to put top relying on two people. We need you to more now and rely on two players. We do, yeah, we do. It's going to be a tough. It has to be more off the outfield, but you need to talk to him more. That's it. It's going to be a tough one tonight, but as like the boys all you know chip in, hopefully we can get that that win. Yeah. Yeah. Last time we were here was a game just after I had Sunny a few years ago. I looked at we looked at the vlog back. <laughs> yeah. Like an absolute zombie in that one. So look a little bit better. And today. we were in the marriage all the two the marriage, all that all day. Was, uh, six years ago. When we're, six yeah, yeah. Till, till five and a half years ago, yeah. That's it. All right, guys, well, hopefully Sean will turn up soon. We'll get his thoughts and then we'll head back on in. Come the greens. Come on, you Right, we've got Liam on the channel. How you doing, Liam? You all yeah, good? good yeah, good to see you, mate. Uh, obviously, we were just chatting a minute ago, but you went on the uh, long journey to Sunderland the other day. How was it? The first half was really good, really good positives, but yeah. the second half, we just didn't really put much effort in, really. No. It just it looked a bit tired, maybe, from yeah, all the games we've been we playing. Did, yeah, I mean, yeah. as soon as the first goal went in, I thought they're going to win it, which fair play they did. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we can't expect to get away wins every time. No. Of course not. Sunderland, they've been in the championship for a long time. Yeah. And they know how to get wins. So, yeah. fair play to them. Big, big club, yeah. And yeah. same as tonight, obviously, Coventry City, big club, obviously. Playoff finalists last season, they lost out. Mm. Didn't have a great start to the season, did they? But they're in the playoff places again now. Yeah. Had a little good run together. This is going to be a tough one tonight, do you think? Yeah, it's going to be a really tough one. Yeah, I think, I think we'll win. Yeah, for, confident. Now, Lee, but... Ideally, I want to get two wins up in the three games. Yeah, it's going to, well, Leeds obviously set is going to be very to, tough. Yeah, but Leeds will be tough. Just, yeah. to, just to solidify us from that, from that bottom half, really. That's it. I mean, we're doing well, but if we were to lose, say, tonight in the two other get home games, three win losses on the row, we'd start to be behind us a little bit, wouldn't we? We would start to look behind us, yes. And yeah. with our home form, yeah. it would be a bit worrying. It would be. But I you've think. got to back us at home, haven't you? Oh, yeah, 100%. I yeah. Think. We can get two wins from the three, like I said. I think yeah. that just gets us away from that drop zone, and I think well, we have got Bowen next after that, didn't we? Yeah. I mean, they, again, again, they're, another they're hitting this. So. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. Four. And it, sort of enjoy the end of the season, then hopefully. Enjoy the end of the season. Yeah. And not have to worry too much about uh, going down. That'd be ideal. No, yeah. I think. I think if we're safe by mid eight, we're happy, really. You would be. You would be. You would enjoy yeah. that final running. So then, I think I read your scoreline already. I think you said 2-1, was it? 2-1, yeah. yeah. You already commented on free yeah. chat, yeah. Awesome. Well, obviously, it is Valentine's night, so we're asking people tonight, what made you fall in love with Argyle? Is there a memory or a player that made you fall in love with the Greens? Um, I think Re Ruben Reeve was really good for us. He was a good player, yeah, yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Um, I remember his hat-trick at Exeter very well. That was oh, a good yeah. day out. Yeah. I remember uh, who scored that winner? Late on against Pompey at home. Oh, Peter Hartley. Peter Hartley. Yeah, That's Devonport right. End. Yeah, that, that was, was amazing. I watched that game. That was a yeah. great moment. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, Liam was just talking about the Devonport End. Uh, Hartley in the uh, Devonport oh, last second. That's literally my top three moments yeah. of uh, Argyle ever. Yeah, that was yeah. good. For me, though, I have to go back even longer. To show me age. 2007, Scott Sinclair went through every single person on the pitch against oh, Cri Palace. Crystal Palace and then scored 1-0. That was the first sort of game that really sparked my interest and um, yeah. I'd say made me fall in love with the game. But, I mean, yeah, that's it. Memory, Sam, isn't it? No. Yeah, yeah. We're kind of lucky to be here right now, really. We could have gone well, Yeah, well, yeah well, it's all gone down. I'd say another one, Graham Carey as well. It oh, never scored he, a bad he was, goal. He was amazing. The, the, uh, the Devon Ronaldo, as you used to call him, yeah. Bring him back for laughing. It'll be all right with me, yeah. That's it. Well, thanks, Liam, for coming on. No and, um, hopefully we get the win tonight and um, we'll speak to you next time. No worries. Cheers, Good, and Liam. Right, we've got another Argyle fan, Becky on, how you doing? Good, how are good? You? Yeah, good to see you. Um, so, big game commentary tonight. Yeah. They're, they're a good side, but, you know, we're doing well at home. Yeah. What are you thinking? 2-1 Argyle. So, you're confident? Yeah. Yeah, who are you going to score tonight? Uh, Whitaker. Yeah. 
and Hardy. And Hardy. So the two duo up front, yeah? yeah. And they'll do well? Awesome. So that would be good. That would be good. And it is Valentine's Day night, so I'm asking all the fans tonight, what was the moment that made you fall in love with Argyle? Um, my dad um, supported Argyle from a young age. Yeah. And then he got me into supporting it. Yeah. And you, we were just talking a minute ago, you said that Peter Hartley, was yeah. it, in the Devonport end? Yeah. Got us to Wembley? Yeah. Wasn't a very good day out there no. in the end. But no. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming on, and let's hope that 2-1 winner happens. Come the Greens. Hey, we're here with the other member of Jammers on Tour, Sean Beebs Fallick. How you doing, Sean? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Yeah, good to see you. Obviously, again, big game tonight. Yeah, Coventry City. Hey, Steve, right, mate? Um, obviously, it's going to be tough. They are on good form. But what are you going for for your prediction? 2-1, hopefully. 2-1 win? Yeah, hopefully. that seems to be a popular prediction tonight, 2-1. Just looked at the team line. There no four sure tonight. So your favourite, Randall's back in. So, uh, are you confident with him in? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Well, let's hope your prediction comes true. And very quickly, Sean, obviously Valentine's Day night, what was the moment or the player maybe that made you fall in love with Argyle? Uh, David Friel. David Friel, what a player. Yeah, and there's David Friel, French, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so he was a very good player, yeah. And the French are known for their romance as well, Sean, aren't they? You're always a big fan of uh, Tanner as well, weren't you? And, um, Tanner, Oscar. And Oscar Threlkeld, yeah. That's it. Good players as well back in the day. Yep. Right then, Sean, well, thanks. We're going to be sat in block nine together today, so uh, hopefully we get some good action and uh, hopefully we're celebrating at full time. Green Army. Come on, the Greens. Yeah, well. Hello, <laughs> oh, guys. Half time. Plymouth Argyle nil. Coventry City nil. Uh, pretty tough half, Rich. I'd say. Um, I mean, we didn't have too many chances. Divine had a sort of a volley that he sort of miss hit. And then Hardy had a little chance, but apart from that, Coventry have looked very dangerous and um, you know, we've rode our luck at times. Yeah, the, the way Dominic Bay is where we do it, then, then let the full motor. Yeah. We are too low, we yeah. are catching way too low. 
we bet in like we got a lemon in the whole yeah. map. We, we are, do open yeah. it up a bit. I mean, this isn't a criticism, but under Foster, we do seem a little bit slower than under Shuri, don't we? Yeah. Not well, as direct. Not direct. We're doing that at a low quick and it ain't out benefiting no. us. We do look more solid at the back and like less open to the counter attack, but still at home, you want us to go for it, don't you? In Bethany, oh yeah. 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 Can't really done as and make double decent saves. Yeah, a couple of good saves, and that Sims up front, um, you know, he looks like a big player, doesn't he? So uh, we've got to keep him quiet. Yeah, right? and I haven't even been on at Team White yet, and that another thing. That's it, yeah. So uh, I think second half, like to say, you need to move the ball a little bit quicker, get that ball in the box a bit quicker, and, you know, one of their boys then can hopefully put a chance yeah, away. Yeah, Audi and Morden have to not be GD to go out well if we don't. Yeah. Audi with GD on that, and Morden were on it on a sock, man, and that's what happened to him. That's it, yeah. yeah. But then he's got full defender with him. Yeah. I mean, they through the audio, all these people all alone. So, yeah. Like you were saying, the lad from Villa, you know, he's putting a good shift so far. Yeah, just sit so far, he's down and down. I don't yeah. know if he's missing Barry Mumbai or not, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe a bit of pace maybe out there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sean, what are you thinking so far? It's been alright. Yeah, just need to get him a little bit more. Yeah, get out. Yeah, your favourite round has been booked as well already, so. There you are. That's it, yeah. So, Rich, going into the second half then, what are your sort of thoughts? We actually beat, like, a tent all the shit that we went at in the second half. Yeah. We needed to show for them, but I like, know what I don't worry about. If you show for them, it will win the whole... Counter-attack, yeah. Yeah, not that well, I understand Fosh's idea, yeah. but yeah. we need to need talk. Being picked on speed, you can have, you need to loosen up. That's it, that's it. Anyway, uh, Rich, are you going to be confident and go for the win still? I could confident we win, because we're at home. I always got to at home. And uh, Rich, you have a shout-out, yeah? Yeah, but you're all a fan on the channel, I'm connected to John Harley. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hope you're having a good night, guys. Let's hope we get that win. Yeah, right there. Well, we'll hopefully be. Uh, we'll see a goal or two in the Denver end up in the second half, and let's yeah. hope we can get that all important win with Leeds on Saturday. We need it tonight. Then. We need a win no matter what. That's it. Come on, the green. Come on, the green. On. Oh yeah. 
Rice at the end. Two, two. Oh no, Coventry City just scored right at the end. Dear, oh dear. Why is he on the pitch? Why is he on? A oh, heartbreak right at the end there, Sean. 96 minute of the equaliser. We'll catch up with Rich in a minute, but gutting, gutting. So close. Hello, guys, back in the car. Plymouth Argyle 2, Coventry City 2. What a gut punch at the end there, Rich. Devastating ball at the end. That's the second it. half, we were back to the I thought. We attacked on the like what we were saying at half time, wasn't it, yeah. Sam? We uh, thought about doing that. Yeah, that's what we said at half time. Just raise the intensity a little bit and get at them. And we did. Like, Whitaker, you know, he was really good second half. Randall obviously got man of the match. Thought he was really good. So, obviously, made a really good, made a nice goal for uh, Whitaker there to sweep home. Um, and then again, a counter attacking goal. Uh, Coventry scored. Uh, Sims. You yeah, know. it was a brilliant save by Donna, but yeah, it bounced back to Alex. Couldn't do an awful lot about it. And then, but then straight away we, react, we reacted. And then a good sub there. Miller come, came on and he scored straight away. Um, nice little tidy finish. May have got a little deflection. And it looked like we were going to see the game out. Six minutes got added on. Um, Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left. We were even walking down out of our seats. And then, uh, see so ball in. Looked like it wasn't cleared very well, and then you know, net. free at the post for a tap in. So very, very disappointing end to the game. Um, you know, it does feel a little bit like two points dropped there. I know they're a good side, Coventry, and maybe before the game we would have said a point would be good. But yeah, we just uh, ourselves. Yeah, when we talked earlier, it would be a billion result. But when you're two one up with a few seconds to go, it is going to hurt a little bit. So, end of the day, we are disappointed, but. If, if you you know if we let ourselves calm down, a draw is not a bad result against a side that are looking to be in the playoffs. So, yeah. And just knew about QPR losing that give us the eight points. Yeah, gap. So eight, points? eight points at yeah. the moment, and we have a game in hand. So, you know, it's not looking bad at all, really. I still think we'll be fine. I think we may well have just done enough. I think another, you know, maybe nine, ten points will hopefully see us through, maybe. But uh, yeah, a bit disappointing. Sean, sure, what are you thinking? Got mentioned, but. Points back then. Nothing. 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 Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And, you know, it's it always going to be a tough game tonight. Obviously, though, it doesn't get any easier. Leeds United on Saturday. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you've, we've got to be better in that game if we're going to get anything from that one. But yeah, a point's okay. Um, we move on to Leeds. So yeah, Leeds. I, with Leeds, I don't know what they're back with me, but Thomas, you know, all the second half of billion. Yeah. If we start doing more like that more often, and the first half was so low, was it? Yeah. As a set to now, we look at a completely different team. I didn't believe what I was looking at. I thought, are we two seeing the same team? Yeah, I think it was just a simple thing of just raising the intensity a little bit and we did that. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, then, so guys, we got most of the action on there. I've got both of our goals. So, it was an entertaining game. It was a good evening out. We didn't get as wet as last week either. So, <laughs> that's always a bonus. But, you know, it would have been nice to have sealed it with a win. But it didn't happen. So, we'll have to wait and see until next time. So, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, Rich, you will be taking charge of the vlog on Saturday for Leeds. Yeah, so... I, I got a good feeling about it. Well, we'll see. So, uh, <laughs> you'll see Rich for that one. But thank you very much, guys, for tuning in today on Jans on Tour. We hope you enjoyed the vlog, and we'll see you on the weekend for Leeds United uh, at Home Park. Half 12 kickoff as well. Come on, the Greens! Come on, Green Army! Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day!